Welcome to Guts Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be doing practice problem 8.1. Given the circuit over here, we are asked to find the following things. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. So this is the circuit which we have. And for the first part, so let's go and start with the first part. We're asked to find I just after zero, which is the current just after zero, and V just after zero, which is this V indicated here. So I is indicated over here, and V is indicated here. So at time less than zero, we assume that this circuit had actually reached steady state. And at steady state, we have something like this, because the capacitor becomes an open circuit and an inductor becomes a short circuit, steady state, and DC when a DC source is present. All right. So this is what we basically have. As you can see, the switch is only closed at time equals to zero. So that doesn't have an effect at the moment for time less than zero. So we have two ohms. We have 10 ohms over here, then we have a short circuit there, we have 24 volts and an open circuit over here. So we asked to find I just of the zero and V just of the zero. So for a capacitor, the voltage doesn't change abruptly. And for an inductor, the current doesn't change abruptly. And therefore these values which we find just before zero at time or at time less than zero will be the same values which you find just after zero. So that will be our answer. Whatever we find here will be our answer. So I just before zero is equal to I just after zero. So now let's find the value. So what is the value or where do we see I? So I is indicated over here. And here's what you can do. You can do quite a number of methods, but just so you don't actually mix the signs, let's just go in this direction using the convention, which is shown in the circuit. So going in this direction, we're gonna have negative 24, we're gonna have plus 10i plus 2i is equal to zero. And taking this to the other side of the equal sign, we're gonna have 12i is equal to 24. Dividing both sides by 12, we're gonna have i is equal to two amperes, which is the value of I just before zero and I just after zero. So this is our answer for I. Move on to find V, which is over here. So you can use this same loop or the inner loop or the loop which is inside. Uh, we can use this one or that one, it doesn't really matter. Let's use the short one, which is over here. Let's go in this direction this time. So now that we know the direction, okay, let's go in this direction. So we have a positive current. Let's go in this direction. So we have negative, if we go in this direction, we have negative in this small loop over here, which is formed by just the V and the two on. So if we go in this direction, we're gonna have negative V plus two I. So negative V plus two I is equal to zero. And we're interested in finding our V, so V is equal to 2I, and we found our I to be 2 amperes, and therefore V is equal to 4 volts. So V just before 0 is equal to V just after 0, which is equal to 4 volts, and I just before 0 is equal to I just after 0, which is equal to 2 amperes. So that is the first part of the question. We now move on to the second part of the question. We are asked to find di over dt just up to zero and dv over dt just up to zero. So this is just up to zero. So let's do this. t just up to zero. This is the new circuit which you're going to have. After closing the switch, we have a short circuit which is in parallel with the resistor value, and therefore this will short out. And this will be our new circuit over here. We're gonna have this. Just after this is just after zero. That is gonna be shorted. Then we have the same 0 0.4 and reads with the I indicated over there. Then we have 24 over here. Right. So let's see. We know that V 
is equals to L di over dt. And we know that I is equals to C dv over dt. And di over dt is therefore equals to V divided by L. This V being the voltage across the inductor. And dV over dt is equals to I divided by C. This I being the current which flows through the conductor. So now, using this information, we are actually going to find the values just, just after zero. So now, we know this value, we know that value. These are just the inductor and capacitor values which are given to us res respectively. And all that's left is to find these values to compute our di over dt just after zero and dv over dt just after zero. Right? So let's find our VL. How can we do that? Let's go around this circuit over here. Going right in that direction, you're going to have negative 24. Then we're going to have plus uh, VL, which is the voltage across there. Then we're going to have plus V, which is the value over there, is equal to zero. But we are looking at all of this just after zero, and we know this value over here, we don't know this value, and this is given as a constant, or this is given as just a voltage source, and we know that value, of course. So VL just after zero is equals to 24, taking this to the other side of the equal sign, subtract V just after zero. And therefore VL just after zero is equals to, we found this value in the first part of the question and the value of VO just after zero was four volts. So 24 subtract four is 20 volts. So this is the value of the inductor just after zero, right? Now that we have that, we're gonna move on to find this part of the question. We, we see that I is coming into this point and we know I just after zero from the first part of the question. We want to see how this I is distributed when it reaches this junction. So we know that this is V and it's in parallel with this V over here. And now that it's in parallel with this V over here, then we're going to see how it's actually being shared between the two. So using Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. I is equal to V divided by R. The value of V is this V just after zero, which we found to be four volts. And we're going to divide this by R, which is two. So this is four divided by two. And the value of I across the resistor of value two is therefore two amperes. But I just after zero is two amperes. This is what we found, and this actually splits into two. So if all of this splits into that side, or if all of this goes that side, then that means there's nothing which actually flows here, which means IC is equal to zero amperes. Now substituting the zero amperes into here, just after zero, we're gonna have DV just after zero divided by DT, it equals to IC just after zero divided by C. This is zero, and therefore the value of this DV over dt just after zero will be zero volts per second. And the value of this, which we found previously, we take this value, so di dt just after zero is equal to vl, which we found to be 20, divided by the inductive value of 0 0.4, so 0 0.4, and the value of that will be 50 amperes per second. That is the second part of the question. We now look at the last part of the question. After closing this, this switch over here, we are now interested in finding the final values or when the circuit will actually reach steady state. So this is what will go on. We have two ohms over here. Then this will be an open circuit. And this will be shorted out as from the second part of the question. Then here, we're going to have another short circuit, of course. Then we're going to have I indicated. Then we are going to have... 24 still in place. So now all that's left to find is I infinity, which we can find using this way or this method going right in this direction. You're going to have negative 24 plus 2i is equal to 0 and 2i is equal to 24, which means I infinity is in fact equal to 12 amperes. Moving on to find V infinity, you see that this I flows through here and the V is in parallel with 
this. And therefore, using Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, V, which is what we're going to find, is equal to I infinity multiplied by R, which is 2. And our I infinity, we found that to be this, which is a value of 24 volts. So 12 multiplied by 2 is 24 volts. Alternatively, you could just see that this V is actually in parallel with the voltage source, and that would be your value for V infinity.